Hi there, welcome to Paper's End. Quilling a spiral is really fun and easy to do. You can use them straight or glue them in a curve. You can add them to your basic quilt shapes to give a different texture to your cards or gift tags. Let me show you how. To make a paper spiral, what I tend to do is just kind of soften the end up a bit at an angle like that, just to kind of give an indication to the paper where I want it to go. And then I'm going to place my needle tool on the paper and you can see the angle that I'm going at is kind of like a 45 degree angle. Now with my right hand, my pointing finger and my thumb are going to just gently hold the paper and guide it along. And at the same time on the bottom parts of these two fingers, they're just going to rest on my tool here and it's not going to move. Nothing on this right hand is going to move. Now, while these two fingers here are busy at the top of the wooden part of the tool, the rest of the fingers here ravel around my tool and hold the rest of my handle steady. So as you can see where we had started it off, that's where we're going to continue the spiral. So I'm just going to wrap it around the needle and you can see as I'm Kind of applying pressure on the paper is raveling around the needle and I'm also making this motion off the needle at the same time. So I'm squishing it against the needle, turning the paper, guide, and these guys don't move, nothing is moving here, it's just pulling the paper along and off the needle. But that's basically how we create a spiral. Even you can actually twist it a little bit more or untwist it. You can change up the spiral um, distance between each segment by, by playing with that. What I love most about quilling spirals is how it catches the light and shadows differently than any other traditional quilling shapes. And you can also use paper that has color on one side. This is a lucky money envelope left over from Chinese New Year. It's just the right weight for quilling a spiral. I'm going to quickly cut one strip just to show you what it looks like to make a spiral. See how fun it is we can get two colors for the price of one? So look around your house for any pamphlets or brochures that might be the right fit for your quilling spiral project. If you have problems making the spirals even, like you can see here, then what I do is coil the spiral tighter, and then I loosen the coil up, and just like magic, the spirals are more even. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please let me know by clicking the like button or leaving me a comment so I know to make more videos like this in the future. You can also do a quilling spiral of two strips at the same time. All you need to do is overlap the two strips and I'm just going to soften it up here on the edge and then place my needle on top and pinch those two strips at the same time wrap it around the needle. And it's a little bit more stubborn because there's two strips here, but we're just following the same procedure as last time and spiraling the two off together. And I can imagine there's lots of Christmas kind of cards and, you know, occasions that you can use spirals like this. And then now that we've cut that shape, probably best to glue those ends down together. Now we can cut the other end, separate the two colors, apply some glue, and do the same thing, just press those two ends together. Now to make a gift tag, it was really easy. I just used a rectangular sheet of paper and trimmed two corners off in a 45 degree angle, and then I just took my hole punch and punched the end. Super easy. Now I'm ready to glue the candy cane to my gift tag and I'm just going to start by dabbing some glue along the straight part of the candy cane and just along one side of the spiral. And that's the side of course that I'm going to face towards my gift tag and I'm only tackling one part at a time just so I'm not going to stress myself out. And so I'm just going to hold that until it sets and when I feel that it's pretty secure, then that's when I'm going to glue the curved portion. Again, I'm just lifting up the portion that I know is going to come in contact with the gift tag and apply some glue and hold my curl in place. 
Now that my candy cane is dry, we can certainly add a little bow to that, and I'll just quickly show you how that's done. I'm just taking a strip that's two and a half inches long and folding it in half just to make that crease. And I'm just going to soften my ends on either side and then just place some glue along that fold line and bring the ends down to meet that glue. And then we could just quickly place that on top of our candy cane. And then I've got two strips here that are an inch and a quarter and I'm just going to coil up the ends a bit and there we have it, a simple gift tag. If you enjoyed adding spirals to your quilling projects, then watch this next tutorial.